Renew your mind. Reawake your spirit. Return to life. The WLJC Fall Revival begins on October 6th through the 18th at 7 p.m. You'll hear the Word of God live from 10 preachers on 10 nights. Featuring Pastors Fred Finley, Roy McIntosh, Richard Hampton, Steve Wilkerson, Jim Smith, Henry Deaton, Alan Ratliff, Dennis Doan, Wayne House, and Terry Joseph. Plan now. Invite your family and friends to watch. The WLJC Fall Revival Services begin at 7 p.m. from October 6th through the 18th. You can watch live online at WLJC.com and on your TV with your local provider. Good evening and welcome to uh, the first night of our second week of revival here at WLJC. We had some wonderful preaching and singing last week and we have some scheduled for this week. And so we want you to stay tuned because we've uh, a lot of prayer has gone up for this service tonight. And I believe, I know God hears every prayer. So we're believing for some good results. And so have one scripture I want to share with you, and that's in uh, uh, Psalms, the 46th chapter. Now, th right now, there's a lot of people we know <clears throat> that's in hospitals and at home. Some of them have already been given up. And uh, uh, But here is a verse that we can stand on regardless of what our status is. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. So regardless of what your situation is, remember, He is a refuge, a place to run, a place to hide from the troubles, and He will give strength. You know, sometimes when you go through a lot of trials, you kind of, your strength gets down. You need to be encouraged. You need to be lifted up. You need to be reminded that God has all the strength that we need, and we just have to go to Him and really cast our cares on Him, and He will take care of. We, uh, want, uh, we have a number of prayer requests in and um, so we will be praying for all of these and uh, uh, so for, especially for Cleta Moore, we ask you to remember that family and others uh, and we, uh, we're happy to have prayer requests coming in uh, from different places. Here's one from Oakland, Virginia Someone just uh, just have uh, found WLJC mm -hmm. and the airways, and and it said it has helped them a lot to carry their loads, and uh, they want to contribute and they want to help and be part of WLJC, and so we appreciate uh, that new viewer and friend, and also from Garden Grove, California, someone is needing prayer and has called us, uh, emailed us, and asked for prayer. So remember these and all the people in your immediate circle. You know, there's a lot of church people that have someone in, in their church that needs prayer. Well, we have some good singing. We have some good people here tonight to sing and to preach for us. And so we want you to stay tuned. But right now, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to speak your name to the uh, lost and dying world. If, if people are saved and living for you, then they're not needing it like the ones that are unsaved. So tonight, Father, we come to you on the behalf of those that have joined us for this service. 
We ask for your anointing to be here. We ask you to strengthen and help the singers and strengthen and help the, the preacher and, and the phone operators. And Lord, we're going to thank you in advance because we know great things are going to happen. We might not hear about all of them tonight, but we know that when prayer go up, goes up and your word goes out, things happen, and we are sure of that. So we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we're happy to have some folk that's been coming for some time, good people that's living for the Lord, Tim and Judy Ambergy, and they're from Premium, Kentucky, and they uh, have uh, a phone number, 606-633-0092, and call that number if you want to get in touch with them. Um, Brother Tim is an evangelist, and, and Judy's still having to work, but... Uh, She's going to get rich one of these days and quit so she can go with him. And, but right now, they're here to sing for us, Tim and Judy Ambergy. So you pray for them and enjoy them as they sing. Thank you, Sister Margaret. It's great to be back at WLJC. This is our home church, and uh, we support them. We want everybody to know that this is where the gospel goes out to the people. All over this world, people are listening to the gospel here. We just want to glorify God and and uh, let him get the glory out of everything that's done. Go ahead. We hope you enjoy this first song. It's called My Home. It's a long and dusty road that my feet they are traveling on and sometimes Oh, the clouds are dark and low Oh, but I've got to keep the faith And walk that straight and narrow way To reach that place that I will call So world so dear, but I am just a stranger here, only passing through on a temporary stay. Oh, but I'm looking forward to the time when all of heaven it will be mine. I'll watch and pray. Or it could be just any day For my home is just around the bend I think about it now and then Reunions by the millions everywhere But the one that I so Now and then my home, 
that's my home. And I'm ready to go. Praise the Lord. You may be watching tonight and you may be in pain tonight in your body. You may have sickness tonight. You may be a little sin sick tonight. It doesn't matter your condition. It's the one that hung on the cross at Calvary, Jesus Christ, that shed his blood for every sin you'd ever commit. And that blood will heal every infirmity of the body. It was shed for them. So we ask you to call in to the phone line operators tonight. Sister Dottie's there up there answering the phones. If you need salvation, Jesus said, Whosoever will call upon his name, they shall be saved. So we're going to sing a song right now called, He Called My Name. And if he's calling your name right now, as you hear this song, God's already spoke to you. You're of a broken heart. You're of a contrite spirit. What does that mean, preach? Well, it means you're sorry that you sinned against God. And we'll sing this song called, He Called My Name. And if God speaks to your heart, all you are is a phone call away and a prayer away from making it to heaven. Don't give up. Don't give up. It may look dark right now, but don't give up. Hope's on the way. And helps on the way. Go ahead. You call the phones. Tell them. Say, I need Jesus. You need him more than you need anything else in your life. While we sing, as you hear him speak to your heart, you call Tell him you want to be saved tonight. A day as cold Lazarus. Well, can you explain how a man can be dead and then live again? Well, that's just insane. But old Lazarus said, boys, listen, I heard a voice. Is he speaking to you right now? It spoke like to me. This set me free when he called my name. And he called my name. And I heard his called my name I made my choice I knew my life would never be the same after God called mm-hmm. Why he called my name all you gotta do is humble yourself and say Lord have mercy on me a sinner he said, I will in no wise cast you out. He said, casting all them cares upon me because I care for you. If he's drawing you right now to him, you feel that spirit, you call the station. And you tell him the Lord has saved you or that you want to be saved. Call right now. Go to the phone. He ask old Lazarus. Can you tell us about Jesus in a sycamore tree? He said, I climbed up to see the Lord pass my way. But the Savior called out. Put your name in right there. Today I'll stay at your house. This is your house right here. I took him in He forgave all my sin And he called me by my name Oh yes he did And he called my name And I heard a voice He called my name And I made my choice And I knew my life Would never be the same after God called mm-hmm. Why he called my name Oh thank God he called mm-hmm. Why he called my name He 
Bible plainly says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that God has raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I want to sing this song called One Blessed Man right now. If you're not living under the blessing tonight, you can. We are Abraham's seed, and we are living under the blessing right now. But you must be born again. You must be saved. Call these operators. Call in. Talk to them. I don't care what your problem is. God's greater than your problem tonight. I've got a house to keep me warm And to shelter me from storms Yes, I am One blessed man And I've got a wife who holds me tight And she prays for me at night Yes, I am One blessed man These are a few of the blessings That I have known If I had time I could go on and on I've got children and grandkids I don't know what I ever did to be what I am. One blessed man. Listen right here. I've got Jesus in my heart, and I know he won't be part. And you know I am. One blessed man. These are a few of the blessings that I have known. If I had time, I could go on and on. Now if someone says to you, who's that man? What does he do? Just tell them I am. One blessed man Cause that's who I am I'm one blessed We give God all the praise tonight and all the glory. We want to worship him in spirit and truth tonight. We want to come together in one mind and one accord with all you watching by television tonight, listening on the internet, through the radio. We want you to come together with us tonight. Let's worship our God with this next song. It's called Almighty God. Let's just praise him and thank him for his goodness and his mercy that endureth forever and ever. You're my joy, you're my peace You're my comfort in time of need You're my refuge, you're my rock You're the one I depend on You're the road to hope when the light grows dim When the waves of doubt come crashing in You're my anchor in the troubled storm Almighty God 
you're my peace you're my comfort in time of need you're my refuge you're my rock you're the one i depend on you're the road to hope when the light grows dim when the waves of doubt come crashing in you're my anchor in the troubled storm almighty god you bore the cross and you bear the scars you're my bright and shining star you gave me sight that i might see the kind of man that i should be you came to die to set me free almighty god and you bore the cross and you bear the scars you're my bride and shining star you gave me sight that i might see the kind of man that i should be you came to die to set me free almighty god you're my joy, you're my peace. You're my comfort in time and need. You're my refuge, you're my rock. You're the one I depend on. You're the road to hope when the light grows dim. When the waves of doubt come crashing in. You're my anchor in the troubled storm. Almighty God, you're my joy, you're my peace, you're my comfort in time and need, you're my refuge, you're my rock, you're the one I depend on, you're the road to hope when the light grows dim, when the waves of doubt come crashing in. You're my anchor in the troubled storm, Almighty God. You're my joy, you're my peace. You're my comfort in time and need. You're my refuge, you're my rock. You're the one I depend on. You're the road to hope when the light grows dim. When the waves of doubt come crashing in, you're my anchor in the troubled storm, Almighty God. You're my anchor in the troubled storm, Almighty God. He'll be your anchor in your time of need. Nahum 1 and 7 says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Would you put your trust in him tonight? You've tried everything but Jesus. Your way ain't working tonight, but his way is perfect tonight. It's tried and it's true. And he loved you so much that he left all the splendor of heaven to come down and be made in the passion of a man to humble himself unto death for you. And that's no greater love than the Bible says that a man would lay down his life for his friend. And Jesus did that for you. As we sing this next song, would you please call the TV station? Not for me, but for yourself. I want to say a hello to the folks in Electric County Detention Center that we preach at on Thursday nights and say hello to them. And I, I don't like to do that a lot. To, I'm going to leave somebody out, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And those are my buddies up there and uh, the men and women there and everyone else and all the people that's, that is in their churches. We're so thankful to God and so thankful to you. We thank Sister Margaret, Brother Don, all the staff here at WLJC. You will not find a better family to join than God's church. God has a lot of good people in his church. We're going to sing this song it's called Drinking from a Saucer.
I've never made a fortune It's probably too late now Oh, but I don't worry about that much Cause I'm happy anyhow And as I go along life's journey I'm reaping better and I sow I'm drinking from my saucer Cause my cup has overflowed I ain't got a lot of riches Sometimes the going's rough But I've got a friend in Jesus And that makes me rich enough I thank God for all His blessings on me And for the mercy He bestowed I'm drinking my saucer cause my cup has overflowed now there's people everywhere that has problems tonight we've all got problems in our lives but what we're looking for is a solution tonight to your problem whatever it is I don't care if it's drug addiction alcoholism I don't care what kind of problem you have tonight it may be cancer in your body. I serve a miracle working God tonight that is able to deliver to the uttermost tonight. He is able to take care of every need that you have tonight. You just put your trust in. About the tough roads I have hold. I'll keep drinking from my saucer. Cause my cup has overflowed And if I should go on living If the way gets steep and rough Well I won't ask for other blessings Cause I'm already Blessed enough And may I never be too busy To help another bear his load I'll keep drinking from my saucer, Lord Cause my cup has overflowed Yes, I'll keep drinking from my saucer, Lord Cause my cup has overflowed My cup has overflowed Praise the Lord, praise the Lord God is so good right now we're just going to thank him for how good he really is. If you don't know the goodness of the Lord tonight as we sing this song right now, could you just lift your hands toward heaven and praise him with us tonight? We're going to praise our God right now. We've got so much to thank him for tonight. When I look around to see the good things he does for me i know i'm unworthy of them all for his blessings he freely gives i owe my life to him i've got 
so much to thank him for and i've got so much to thank him for so much to praise him for you see well he's been so good to me and when i think of what he's done and where he's brought me from i got so much to thank him for well sometimes while on this way i kneel i stop and say thank you for all you've done for me and one day i'll reach sweet heaven shore oh please just let me kneel once more i got so much to thank him for and i've got so much thank him for so much to praise him for you see he's been so good to me and when i think of what he's done and where he's brought me from i got so much to thank him for when I think of what he's done and where he's brought me from, I've got so much to thank him for, to thank him for. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God tonight. Uh, if you've got children tonight, Grandchildren, I want you to listen real close to this next song. When I majored in elementary education at Eastern Kentucky University, I always said I never saw a bad child, Sister Margaret, but a lot of bad parents. A product of their environment, that's what a child is. The Bible says train them up in the way they should go, and when they're old, they will not depart from it. They may stray like all sheep, but they'll come back to the Lord. This song says, Two Little Feet. She listened to the words to it. Praise the Lord. God is so good to us. And take the phone lines are open right now. I saw two little feet Walking in my footsteps And I heard a little voice Asking things I didn't know And I touched some tiny fingers that reached out for direction and if she's gonna follow me I need to know just where I'll go and if she's following me then Lord I need to follow I'm a living example I need a whole lot of your life And if the steps I take Will influence her forever I can't afford to lose Lord help Make it right 
you can make it right tonight. Just call. Talk to someone. I've wasted so much time Seeking after worldly pleasures Yet with every passing day Lord, you knocked at my heart's door Though I gave you rejection You just kept right on loving But you sure got my attention now Through daddy's little girl If she's following me, then, Lord, I need to follow you. If I'm a living example, I need a whole lot of your life. And if the steps I take Will influence her forever. I can't afford to lose. Lord, help me make it right. I can't afford to lose. Please help me make it right. That's my prayer for you tonight, that you'll make it right with the Lord. So many people go all their lives, and they struggle, and they struggle, and they get to the end of the life in this flesh, and we know not. Well, they leave not a testimony behind. The Bible says we're overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We're going to sing this song. It's called At the Feet of Jesus. It's taken right out of the Bible, the words to it. So listen to it. Let God speak to your heart tonight. As we sing this next song, let God speak to you. Call in. Phone operators waiting to hear from you. A sinner woman came to a city one time Where Jesus said at me She brought before him an alabaster box And she began to weep With tears that fell from a broken heart She began to wash his feet As she dried them with her very hair And kissed them tenderly Now it's so sweet At the feet of Jesus It is every time that I bow down It gets sweeter At the feet of Jesus Cause He's the greatest Peace I found Now this next verse is my testimony right here Of how I got saved You can get saved tonight. I was bound in chains of sin and shame. I sought to be set free. In a little country church at an altar of prayer, I began to weep. And I cried, Oh Lord, please break these chains And he 
delivered me with hands full of love he dried my tears and he touched me tenderly now it's so sweet at the feet of Jesus every time He's the greatest He's a fan Why don't you let him be your peace tonight? I tell you what, me and my wife, we live in Fletcher County, Kentucky, at Premium, Kentucky, and I want to say hello to my mother that's watching. I don't want to leave her out. She'll get mad at me, maybe. But love you, Mother, and all my family and Judy's family. We just love everybody and all of our neighbors and everybody, church folks alike. Uh, God is no respecter of persons. And what I wanted to say was we don't live in a mansion, but we live in a house that God gave us. And that's what this song talks about. It's called Rich Man. hope you enjoy the words to it. Phone operators are still there as he's playing the song right now. Phone operators are ready to take your phone call. If you're sick, call. They'll pray with you. Right now. I don't live in a mansion. Just a cabin. God gave me. are no streets of gold just an old country road but I'm happy and I'm free there's a rich man inside of me listen church and a poor man goes in a poor man's clothes with a poor man's shoes on his feet but I'm happy and I'm free you can't judge a book by its cover so people don't pity me there's a rich that you can't see the Lord loves you tonight would you obey the Lord's voice tonight not my voice as God speaking to your heart would you obey him and... now I have had my share of troubles oh but God sure been good to me he's building me a home and soon I will be gone to live up yonder so you see there's a rich man inside of me poor man goes in a poor man's clothes with the poor man's shoes on his feet but i'm happy and i'm free why you can't judge a book by its cover so people Pity me, there's a rich man inside of me. 
rich man inside of me I'm just a poor man blessed beyond all measure God has made a rich man out of Praise the Lord. We're going to do one more song for you. And then we're going to hear some good preaching. Praise the Lord. I want you to know tonight that when the time comes for you to leave this old flesh and lay it down, you won't be able to beg, steal, or borrow one more tomorrow. That boundary marker set out before you. And when it comes up, there's nothing else you can do. So we want you to listen to this last song we're going to start right now. It's called Beg, Steal, or Borrow. Call the phone lines. Operators are waiting to hear from you. Life is swiftly passing by. And there are many things. I need to do and say And as I've often wondered If the road was called up yonder Have I done enough for Jesus today? After all is said and done my appointed time has come I can't beg, steal, or borrow One more tomorrow So I better get ready for Jesus today No, I can't beg, steal, or borrow one more tomorrow, so I better get ready for Jesus today. He said, I'm coming in an hour when you think not. You'll see the Son of Man coming in all of his glory. When that eastern sky splits open, that Kedron Valley rolls back like a scroll. He's coming, church, for a glorious church. Time. Won't stand still for any man And you know it seems like Father time is on the run And can I truly say That I've done enough today If today would be that day my Jesus comes After all is said and done My appointed time has come I can't beg, steal, or borrow One more tomorrow So I better get ready for Jesus us today. No, I can't beg, steal, or borrow one more tomorrow, so I better get ready for Jesus today. This is for you folks. No, you can't beg, steal, or borrow. One more tomorrow, so you better get ready for Jesus today. Thank you, uh, Tim and Judy Amberge from Premium, Kentucky. And be sure to call them at 606-633-0092. We appreciate them being here tonight to sing for us, and this is revival time. This is the 
first night of the second week. And so we just got a few more nights. So right now we are happy to have uh, Pastor Henry Lloyd Deaton from Manchester here. He pastors the Brown Mission Christian Church and that's uh, not far out of Manchester. I guess he could tell you uh, how far. The phone number is 606-598-7337. And so right now, let's welcome Pastor Henry Lloyd Deaton. Amen. We're glad to be back here in the revival this uh, fall. Amen. And appreciate this opportunity and privilege. Amen. To be able to preach God's word. Amen. And we truly love the Lord tonight. We've enjoyed the singing and I'm sure that you've been blessed uh, by the singing tonight, and amen. We just uh, love the Lord, and amen. He's always been there for us, and we just appreciate Him, and amen. We love Him tonight, and we like to preach a little bit tonight, be the good Lord's will, and you want to read along with us. We'd like to turn to the Word of God in the book of St. John in the 10th chapter, beginning to read in the first verse. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were, which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them, Again, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. And he says here, Amen. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an harling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The harling fleeth, because he is an harling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine, as the Father knoweth me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I thought about the, the good shepherd. Amen. I thought about the Lord and the goodness of God and His great mercy and what a wonderful shepherd He is and how that He really cares for a lost world. Amen. And the, I thought about the good shepherd. Amen. He said over in the book of Revelations, amen, in the third chapter in the 20th verse, he said, uh, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man will hear my voice and open up, he said, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. I thought about it means so much to have a good shepherd, a shepherd that will never leave you, a shepherd that will not drive you, but a shepherd, amen, that will lead you, amen, a shepherd that will go before you, a shepherd that cares for you, amen, I thought about the enemy, he said there, amen, he comes but to steal and to kill and destroy, but he said, I've come uh, that you might have life and that you might have it uh, more abundantly, I thought about it means so much today, amen, to know where you stand with the Lord, it means so much to know the voice of the good shepherd, it means so much to have him to lead you in this, uh, amen, this world that we live, in this present time that we live. Uh, it means so much to know the Lord. It means so much, uh, amen, to know His voice. It means so much to be, amen, in the sheepfold. And I thought David said, uh, amen, 
the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I thought there's so many folks today that are looking for um, amen a sense of direction they are uh, amen they're confused and uh, amen they're uh, amen looking for peace amen and and they're looking here and they're looking there and they're listening uh, amen to a strange voice uh, amen that is not the voice of the Lord uh, amen he stands at the door and he knocks and he says if you'll open the door uh, amen I'll come in he stands at that heart's door uh, amen he wants to come in he wants to give you peace and he wants to give you joy. He is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. If you're looking for a sense of direction today, if you're out there and you're all confused and you're looking for an answer today to your problems, I'd like to recommend the Lord Jesus Christ to you. I'd like to recommend him, a shepherd, amen, that will give his life, a shepherd that died on the cross of Calvary, amen, one that loved you so much that he was willing to lay down his life and he was willing to be humiliated. Amen. They cursed him. They spit upon him. They, amen. They hit him. They smote him. Amen. Amen. They just uh, bruised him. Amen. Isaiah said he was wounded for our iniquities, bruised. Amen. For our iniquities. Amen. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And it's with his stripes that we're healed. I know today, amen, there's a lot of folks out there, amen, that's sick in body. Amen. I know what it is to be sick in body. But I know, amen, someone that'll leave you. That'll lead you and guide you. That'll never leave you. Amen. If you're in the hospital there today, and I know there's folks in the hospital. I've been in the hospital before. And I, amen. That listen. Amen. And watch this TV program. And amen. WLJC. And there's folks in the nursing home. Amen. This is your church. And I want you to know. Amen. The good shepherd today, my friend, is right there with you. And, and I know there's a lot of folks today. Amen. That's amen. Seeking for peace and looking for joy. And they, they're trying this and they're trying that and they're looking here and they're looking there and they're going this way and they're going that way and they're seeking and uh, amen trying to find peace amen the more amen peace they try to find the more miserable they become and uh, amen they're just so lost amen and confused and amen so far out in sin and uh, amen I thought about friend we wrestle the Bible said uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood uh, but against the principalities and powers of darkness uh, against spiritual wickedness and high places. I thought the devil, amen, he's a thief. He wants to rob you of your joy. He wants to rob you of your peace. He wants to rob you of your health. Amen. He wants to, amen, to, amen, just get you all, amen, aggravated and bothered, amen. He he would love nothing better, amen, than for you to die lost. But I'm so glad today, amen, the Bible said in the third chapter of John, the most quoted verse in the Bible, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes believeth in him I should not perish amen but have everlasting life amen thank God for Jesus today the way the truth and the life he's a lily of the valley amen he's a bright in the morning star he's a rose of cherub he's the first and he's the last he's half and omega he's the beginning and the end he's peace when there seems to be none I thought amen when I was in sin I looked and I searched and I tried to find peace and I found no peace amen for 20 years I looked for peace amen but one night I went to an altar of prayer amen being 20 years old and amen I found the answer amen that I'd been looking for I found something that would give me joy I found something that would give me peace a deep settled peace amen Jesus said not as the world giveth I you but he said in the world you'll have tribulation but in me you'll have peace I thought friend today it's so good to have the peace of God when you lay down it night upon your pillow and you close your eyes. Amen. You know the good shepherd is watching over you. You know he's a, amen, he's a guiding you even in your sleep. He'll watch over you. And I know, amen, in this world we have a lot of troubles and a lot of problems and, amen, a lot of situations, amen, that we don't really know what to do. But I know the Lord is able, the Bible said, to do exceedingly and abundantly above that, which we ask for even thanks. 
Amen. We've got young folks out there today, and I thought the the devil, amen, is trying to destroy our youth. Amen. He, uh, he's doing everything he can to cause mass confusion. And we've got folks out there today, they, they, they're so uh, lonely and they're so tired of sin. And uh, But I thought about Jesus said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. He said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. He said, For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you'll find rest unto your soul. I thought, Amen. Do you want rest today? Amen. If you really want rest today and you really want peace today, amen, when this good shepherd comes, amen, upon, amen, your heart's door and begins to knock, amen, if you'll hear him and you'll open up, amen, he'll come in. He won't force you to serve him today. He won't make you serve him today. But he, amen, he died for you on Calvary. He shed his blood. Amen, he made a way. Thank God I thought about the brother talking about a singing there. What a go about being shackled. Amen, we read in the Bible about a man down in the country of the Gadarenes. Amen, a man, a man that was possessed of the devil. And the Lord came on the shore one day. Amen, this man ran down to the seashore. Amen, and the Lord asked him his name. And the devil spoke out of him and said, Legion, for we are many. And the Bible said many times they'd bound him up with ropes and fetters and chains and they'd tied him up. Amen, but he broke the chains asunder. He ran through the tombs. Amen, and naked and he cut him himself with stones trying to commit suicide, trying to end it all. Amen. But when Jesus came on the shore that day, amen, that man had enough sense left. Amen. Just enough. Amen. A sense of direction to call upon the Lord. Amen. And he came for help. Amen. Amen. I thought about and Amen. The, the enemy, the devil spoke out of him. Those powers of darkness spoke out of him. Amen. And said, we're many. Amen. Except you're going to cast us out. A suffer us to go into that herd of swine for there was a great herd of swine feeding over there on the hillside and, and Jesus said go amen and, and the demonic spirits came out of this man and went into those uh, amen those swine those hogs amen that were feeding over there on the hillside and the Bible said they ran violently down a steep place and, and were choked in the sea and the, uh, the keepers of swine went off in the city and they came back with a whole town and, amen and they saw a man there with a threefold miracle. Huh? He was sitting clothed in his right mind. Huh? He'd never been in his right mind before. Huh? He'd never been able to wear clothes. He tore them off. Amen. He, huh? he, amen. He was possessed. Amen. And huh? he didn't even know what his name was. Huh? Amen. But when the Lord got hold of him, huh? when the Lord got through with him, friend, huh? he was a brand new man. Huh? Amen. And when the Lord left, huh? he wanted to go with them. Huh? But the Lord said, you stay here huh? and you tell the folks what I've done for Oh, yeah. hey Amen. The Lord, hey Amen. He's he saw ways there. We read time after time after time in the Bible. Hey Amen. There was a little woman with an issue of blood. And she went all the doctors, hey Amen, for 12 years. She hey, she spent all of her living. She just kept getting worse and worse. And these folks out there today that's getting worse and worse and worse every day. You may not have an issue of blood, but you may have an issue of sin. And sin is far worse than any other disease. Amen. That there's ever been in the world. A sin is the most, uh, amen, dreaded disease. Amen. That one could ever be entangled with. Amen. But this woman, she tried all the doctors and she spent all of her money. And she just kept getting worse day by day. Her situation became worse and she spent all of her money. And she didn't have any money left. Amen. But one day there was a man called Jesus. Amen. He was going down to this man's house whose name was Jairus, who had a little daughter down there. Huh? Amen. That was very sick and she was laid up on her deathbed. Huh? And they sent for the Lord to come down. Huh? And this woman amen with this issue of blood. Huh? Uh, she said if I can but touch huh, of the hem of his garment huh, I know that I'll be made whole. Huh? And some way somehow this little frail weak woman huh, amen all bowed over and weak amen she made her way through the crowd and, and when she made her way through the crowd the Bible said she reached out and she touched his garment. Huh? And when she touched him. Amen. She was made whole. And Jesus looked around at his disciples and he said, Who touched me? And the disciples said, You see all these people thronging you on every side. What meanest thou? Who touched me? He said, Somebody touched me. Amen. There's a difference in touching the Lord and really touching the Lord. And so she reached out and she touched him and she was made whole. And the Lord looked around and he saw the 
this little woman there. And, amen. And she said, it was me, Lord. I've been sick for 12 years. And, amen, I've been getting worse all the time. Amen. But, amen, I'm not sick anymore. Amen. The Lord is able, my friend, to touch your sick body. It's through his stripes that we're healed. Amen. But it's more important that you be saved. We read in the Bible, amen, where he went on down to Jairus' house. And, amen, they said, trouble not the master for this little girl. She's not, amen. She's, she's, she's not asleep, but she's dead. Amen. Jesus said, amen, she's just asleep. They said, no, amen, we've done checked her pulse. Amen, we've got her laid out and young in the back room. She's as dead as she can be. But Jesus said, no, she's not dead. Amen. And they began to laugh and make fun of him and scorn him. And Amen. But he walked in the back room where the little girl was laid out. And he said, "Maid, arise. And the little girl, she got up from there. And amen. The Lord told him to give her something to eat. And brother, I'm telling you, we're serving a Savior today that is able to help you in any situation that you may have. Amen. We read in the Bible, amen, about a blind man whose name was Bartimaeus who sat by the wayside of begging. And man, he was helpless and hopeless. He had to depend on the charity of others. Amen. Just to survive. But one day there was a man called Jesus. Amen. That came down the road. Amen. He's coming down on your road this evening. He's coming down your road today, my friend. And Jabber, hey man, Bartimaeus began to cry out, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. And they told him, said, Be quiet. This man's, he don't have time to listen to you. But he cried out, That must be louder. Have you cried out? Have you cried out? And it seems nobody hears you. Hey man, there's folks out there that's cried out. Hey man, and they've asked for help. Help. But it seems like nobody can help you. You may be into a doctor. You may be into a psychiatrist. You may be into a drug rehab. You may have been here. You may have been there. You may have tried this and you may have tried that. Amen. But there's a man called Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. That knows the very thoughts and intents of your heart. And he's a knocking on your heart today. Amen. Amen. He cried out that much the louder. So when people try to discourage you, tells you, amen, it's not for you. Being a Christian isn't for you that you can't live this Christian life. Amen, you cry out just a bit, a little, little bit louder. Amen, because the Lord hears you. The Bible said His ears open to the prayers of the righteous. His eyes is over the righteous and His ears are open to the prayers. Oh, Lord, have mercy today. It's so good to know the Lord. He's been my dearest friend for over 34 years, almost 34 years now. Amen. Amen. And I wouldn't take nothing for the Lord, the salvation of God, the love of God, the Spirit of the Lord, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, the security of knowing, amen, that the Lord is with you, security, amen, when you lay down tonight and know, amen, whatever situation you're in, amen, that everything's going to be all right. Bartimaeus cried out. Amen. They said, hold your peace. But he cried out that much louder. Maybe you've cried out. Maybe you need to cry out a little bit louder. Amen. The enemy tries to drown you out. Amen. He doesn't want you to get a hold of the Lord. The devil doesn't want you to be saved. The devil doesn't want you to be healed. He was cast out of heaven, the Bible said, and he's come down having great wrath. He's down here attacking the church, attacking the people. Amen. He's causing mass confusion because he knows we're living in the last days and time's about to wind up. He's going to take every soul he can with him. He's doomed. He's going down to a, a place that was prepared for him and his angels. And hey man, he, he, hey man, he wants to take everyone he can with him. But blind Bartimaeus began to cry out. He said, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Well, we have to start somewhere. People says, well, I don't know how to pray. Well, I didn't know how to pray either. Hey, man, the way to pray is just tell the Lord your heart. Hey, man, call upon the Lord. The Lord, the Bible said, call upon the Lord while it's nigh. Seek him while he may be found. Hey, man, I believe he's nigh out there today or tonight in this revival. I believe God may have sent this revival for you. I believe God may have sent this very broadcast or this very program into your home. You may have never watched this before. You may have never watched WLJC before. This may be your first time, and God's a speaking to you. The good shepherds are speaking to you. He wants to be your good shepherd. He wants to be your guide. He wants to lead you. He wants to help you. He's help for the helpless. Hope for the hopeless. 
Amen. Somebody said, well, there is no hope. Well, there's hope. Amen. There's hope for the soul. As long as there's life, there's hope. Amen. And I thought Bartimaeus, and he got hold of the Lord. And the Lord said, bring that man over here to me. And he brought him over to the Lord. And he said, he said uh, what would you have me to do, Lord, that I might receive my sight? Amen. The Lord said, your face made you whole. What about that? Amen. The Lord, amen, a very present help in the time of trouble. One day there was a widow woman. She had one child, one son, amen, and her husband had died, amen, and that boy she had was all she had in the world. And Amen. He passed away and they was taking him down to the graveyard and amen, had him in a funeral procession and the family following his hair. Amen. The mother was weeping and crying, amen, and heartbroken, amen. When Jesus saw that, he was touched, amen, and he stopped a funeral procession and he, amen, told that young man to rise up from there even though he was dead and brought him to life. Amen. Lazarus had been dead for three days and the Lord brought him up out of the grave. I'll tell you, friend, there's nothing impossible with God. Amen. There's nothing impossible with him. I'd like to recommend him to everybody. I'd like to recommend this good shepherd to you. Amen. He'll certainly be with you. He'll lead you beside the still waters. He'll give you peace. Amen. He'll feed you. Amen. I read one time where it fit 5,000 people on five little loaves of bread and had 12 baskets full left over. Honey, there's enough for everybody. Amen. There's enough for you. And the Bible said this is for you and for your children. Amen. For as many as the Lord thy God shall call. Amen. This good shepherd we're talking about. He don't drive you. He don't force you. Amen. He doesn't make you do anything. He's a leader. He's a leader. He's a guide. He's a teacher. Amen. He'll always go before you. He don't get behind you and push you. He doesn't force you to do anything. But he gently leads you. Amen. That still small voice. Amen. It's always present. Amen. And I thought about how Nicodemus came to the Lord being a ruler of the Jews. Came one night to the Lord in the third chapter of John. And he said, Amen. He said, Master, Rabbi, we know that our teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles without doest except God be with him. And Jesus said to Nicodemus, he said, Nicodemus, he said, you must be born again. And he said, well, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born? But Jesus said, you must be born of the water and of the Spirit. He said, except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. That's amazing, ain't it? Amen. I was born... Hey man, a long time ago. I ain't gonna tell you how old I am. Hey man, but I was born a long time ago, pretty good while. And hey man, and uh, praise God when I was, uh, hey man, at uh, 20 years old. Um, hey man, you can figure that out if you want to. But I was 20 years old, and hey man, the Lord knocked on my heart. Well, He knocked before that. He knocked when I was a teenager. I turned Him away, uh, but He knocked again when I was 20. Um, and hey man, I opened up the heart's door, and the Lord came in. Uh, hey man, He's been with me every minute, every second. He said, "Behold." Um, I'll go with you all the way. I'll stick closer than a brother, even to the end. And I'll never leave you, and I'll never forsake you. And I'll go with you. I'll go with you, he said. I want to let you go along. You won't be lonely. Amen. I'll always be with you. Amen. So sometimes we're driving down the road alone in an automobile and we think we're alone, but we're not alone. The good shepherd's right there with us. Amen. The good shepherd, amen. Amen. There's no other way to heaven, friend. Buddha can't save you. Muhammad can't save you. Amen. The only way to heaven is to by Jesus Christ. To by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You must be born again. The Bible said in Romans 10 and 9, and amen, uh, uh, amen, it said, uh, The word is nigh, the, even the word of faith which we preach, if thou wilt believe in thine heart on the Lord Jesus, and confess with thy mouth, amen, thou shalt be saved. For he said, In the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Why, well, it's just a joy to know the good shepherd. Amen, to know that... Uh, Amen. He leads us beside the still waters. Just because you get saved, friend, it doesn't mean that you'll never 
have any problems or pain or sickness, amen. But the Lord always, He's always there, gently leading, gently helping, gently nourishing you, amen, helping you along. If you're in trouble tonight, amen, the Lord is there for you. I don't care if you're in prison or in jail or, or what you've done, amen. It makes no difference. It doesn't matter what you've done. The Lord is concerned about your soul, amen. There's no great big sin, a little bitty sin. You've got to be born again, amen. And the Lord died for you. See, there was a lot of people in, in the Bible that was bad sinners, Saul. Hey Amen. He was a pretty bad man. He consented to the death of Stephen, held their coats when they stoned him to death. But the Lord called him. Friend, the Lord is merciful, rich in mercy. Hey Amen. If he knocks on your door today, if you'll open up that heart's door, the Lord will come in. Hey Amen. He's a knocking. I hear him knocking, amen. He's knocking on heart's doors tonight, and he wants to come in. Amen, you may be hooked on drugs, and you think, well, I'd like to get off of these things, and amen, I'm in misery, my life's misery, and amen, I've lost my job, I've lost my wife, my children, I've lost everything. Amen, there's just no hope. My friend, there is hope. The devil's a liar. He tells you there's no hope. He tells you you can't be saved. He tells you you'll never have peace. He tells you you, you just can't make it, amen. Life's not worth living, but I'll tell you life is worth living. Amen. If you just turn to the Lord today, friend, amen, he'll be there for you. He loves you more than your mother, more than your daddy, more than your children. They sung that song a little while ago about the little girl asking the questions. Well, the Lord loves you more than anyone could ever love you. He cares for you. He, he loves you. He wants you to go to heaven. Amen. He don't want you to be lost. The Bible said, let not your heart be troubled in John 14, 1. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And my Father's house are many mansions. He said, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, he said, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. Hey, heaven's big enough for everybody. Oh, amen. A city. Amen. Whose uh, street is pure gold. Amen. The walls are jasper. Amen. Right in the middle of that street is a throne of God. And out of the throne of God proceeds a river, the pure waters of light. And and on either, either side of that river, amen, is a tree of life which bears twelve manners of fruit, every fruit in its season, the leaves for the healing of the nations. Why, heaven's good, friend. Hey, man, the Bible said we know if an earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens, for in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with a house which is from heaven. Hey, man, the Bible said in the book of Job, hey, man, it said if a man die, Job 14, 14 said if a man die, shall he live again? He said all the days of my appointed time, will I wait till my change come up? And he rose the writer rolled and said, We know. Hey Amen. It's once appointed on the man to die. 9 and 27. He said, It's appointed on the man once to die. And after death comes to judge me. Hey Amen. The Bible said, Blessed are the dead that die in the Lord. From henceforth. Hey Amen, friend. It's a privilege to die. Hey Amen. The Bible said, More blessed is the day of one's death than the day of one's birth. Hey Amen. If you're right with the Lord. You have the peace of God. He's your shepherd. Amen. He'll never leave you as long as there's life. Amen. He'll never leave you. He'll always be with you. Amen. You may say, well, I'm having so many problems. I don't know what to do. Amen. I want you to know one thing. If you'll turn those problems over to the Lord, turn those children over to God, turn those problems over to the Lord, you can find peace. The good shepherd is calling you tonight. Amen. If you'll just open up your heart and let him come in, he'll bless you. And may the good Lord bless you is our prayer. Amen. Lord uh, Deaton from Manchester, Kentucky. He pastors the uh, Brown Mission Christian Church uh, just outside of Manchester. And uh, if you'd like to get in touch with him, call 606-598-7337. And let's see, we have, uh, we have some good, good news uh, to share with you. Um, a lady has called and said she wanted to be saved, and she said the sinner's prayer. So there's her salvation. And here's another uh, 
man, he called and he got saved last Friday and he's looking for a church home. And that's what we encourage you to do is to uh, find a, a good place that you can go and be faithful at it. Be a part of your church and, uh, and you will definitely uh, grow uh, spiritually when, when that happens. We have, a, we have a number of calls in and uh, uh, here's uh, from the Yoakum, Yoakum Fire Department. I'm not sure where, where that is, but anyway, they all uh, need prayer. And uh, there were several, um, several folk called about, uh, uh, okay, um, about R Riley and Sarah Sizemore and um, uh, about uh, s someone to sing a song. Um, Nancy has called for uh, Jenning Bowling uh, to sing. Well, we did not have him scheduled, but he's here with uh, Henry Lloyd. So we didn't know, we can't see, we don't know that these people can sing when we look at them. So they have to tell us. So maybe next time, ahead of time, we, we always have to check out and know who's coming. So um, so maybe next time when, when uh, Henry Lloyd's coming that we'll be able to do this. Anna Collins has called and said uh, that her husband Phil Collins died September the 23rd and her son Jenning Bowling is here tonight with Henry Lloyd and and uh, she is also wanting a song. But anyway, uh, so I'm not sure which one of these gentlemen they're talking about back here, but we'll find out and uh, so maybe we can get get them all headed back over here before long. Uh, did you just now hand me a... salvation? Where, well, what did I do with it? Okay. All right, here is another salvation report. A lady is called. She has gout in her feet, and it's very painful, but she had her mind on the Lord, and so she accepted Jesus as her personal Savior. So that uh, that is good, and... Uh, well, there, there is just a number of uh, requests. Um, here's uh, Ms. Loudon. She wants a good night of rest. She's worried about the weather tonight. And, you know, sometimes the storms do bother folk that uh, they've been in these. There have been so many tornadoes lately. It's, a, it's a making everybody wonder. But, you know, I believe that all this turbulence is coming because the Lord's wanting to get people's attention. He's wanting them to come to him uh, over and above uh, the other help that they <coughs> that they get. Now, if um, Andrew Lord wants to come up and uh, uh, <coughs> help uh, to pray for this, uh, here we have uh, Anthony said uh, Henry did a great job preaching tonight, and uh, so we we agree with that, and uh, so. Uh, We'll, um, let's see, there's, uh, that was two, two salvation reports tonight, and uh, so that is, that is good, and uh, we usually, uh, okay, uh, okay, sorry about that, um, but we, uh, we have a lot of prayer requests, like you know, like you've already said, there's a lot of sickness and a lot of deaths and everything. See, there's so many here that there's no way that we could uh, uh, hear. Someone has an aneurysm in the center of the eye. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? And here's a lady says, her trials are tremendous. But, uh, and uh, said, they, this whole family said they really enjoyed, said they were surely blessed tonight. And that is good. Uh, someone's passed away and... Well, on and on it goes. We we cannot uh, read them all because on the air, but because we want uh, we want you to uh, take all these and anoint them and pray over them because uh, uh, he's come to he's come to uh, bring us a message tonight, and we know that the Lord is going to reward him. He he's brought forth the the word, and we know that uh, here's another one, and uh, so. Uh, we're, we're going to agree with him as he prays. Go ahead. 
Dear precious Heavenly Father, Lord, you know Jesus. every prayer request. Lord, we've got a handful of requests here yes, from Lord. a lot of people Jesus. in a lot of different situations, Lord. Mm -hmm. Some of these folks have cancer. Some of them have different needs. and yes, Some of them Lord. need salvation, Father. We don't know, yes. Lord, all the needs or the hearts of what they need, God. Mm -hmm. Some of them have family problems and children, Lord, lost, God. But we ask you, Father, to move, God, upon these requests of prayer, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to heal, to touch God, to send deliverance, Lord, to, to move in every home, God, that's watching this this evening. Lord, to touch every affliction, God, and every sickness, Lord. God, we rebuke these sickness and disease, God, and this sin, Father, that's invading these homes. Yes, Lord, Lord, we Jesus. ask you to move, and God, send deliverance, Jesus. Lord. We know that you're a very present help in the time of trouble. And, Lord, these folks are having trouble. And we ask you, God, to move in their troubles and their homes yes. and their problems in their sicknesses, in the nursing homes, the hospitals. Uh, Lord, just move, Lord, for the sick and the shut-in. Heal, yes. send deliverance, God, and we'll praise you, mighty God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Yes. Amen. All right. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Henry Lloyd Deaton. And now, if you'd like to watch this again, 6 o'clock in the morning, we'll be doing a replay, and it'll be on the Internet indefinitely. So, you can hear uh, Tim and Judy Ambergie singing and, and uh, Henry Lloyd preaching. So we have a wonderful opportunity, a way that God has provided for the gospel to get out. And we, we take it very seriously because this time is, is uh, very special to us. And, uh, you know, uh, we, uh, twice a year we have a revival. Twice a year we have to have... Uh, have telethon to just keep the bills paid and so uh, you pray for us we we uh, know the lord's going to meet the needs he's going to save these people that uh, hears the word and so we're we are appreciative of all the friends that the lord has given to the ministry but you know the enemy doesn't like the gospel going out like this does he that's right do you have something else you'd like to say we've got a couple of minutes <clears throat> there sure your church, you want to tell the location of it. That man, I don't know where he called from that he was looking for a church home. He might be in your area. We've got a little church located on Route 11 in Clay County between Oneida and the junction of 421. We'd uh, like to invite everybody to come. We have Sunday school every morning at 10 o'clock. We have Sunday night service at uh, 6 o'clock and Wednesday night service at 7 o'clock. Everybody's invited. If uh, you need us to pray for you, you have our phone number. You can call. We'd be more than glad to pray, or sometimes we visit other churches. If you'd like for us to come, amen, we'll come and preach to you. We have some young ministers in our church, amen, and uh, we appreciate the Lord. He's been good to us, and amen, we thank God for this blessed privilege He's blessed us with right here at WLJC, this is a wonderful thing that God has blessed here in the mountains of eastern Kentucky. Amen. It's just a miracle for this thing to be here. Yes, it is. And yes, amen. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Amen. And I know that God is using this. Uh, it doesn't matter what anybody says. There's not enough devils in hell yes. to stop the anointing of God or the yes. kingdom of God or the will of God being done. Yes. Amen. There's been many souls touched, been many people healed and blessed yes. through this ministry and Amen. I feel very fortunate to, to have a small part in this. Amen. And we just appreciate the Lord, appreciate this revival. Amen. Support this ministry if you can. And God will bless you. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. We're out of time. So from all of us here in the studio, good night and God bless you. You say come to the river. Selfish pride, I became my own slave. You placed a thirst in me with no drink inside. Well, I could not see till 
Well, I saw through your eyes. 